Eric, the extra time you've had off, you've known your opponent now for, I guess, two or three days. How specific do you now game plan for the Celtics versus, you always tell us 75, 80% is just who you are and what you are. And, and, and sort of how specific do you get on this? Defenses, matchups, things like that. Or how much is it telling the guys, just keep doing what you're doing? Uh, no, we go through the routine. You have to be professional uh, about it. So we're going to prepare and, and try to tighten up, you know, things that we do as well. And, and then individual matchups. Again, we saw it a little more maybe in Indiana, attacking individual players. Boston has that kind of talent also. A lot of wing talent. Without naming names, we know who they might be going at. How much defensive work have you put into that zone, you know, things like that, versus the old just take the challenge? Okay. Uh, uh, by the time you get to the conference finals, you can't hide. Uh, it's not like the, your opponent um, isn't going to be experienced on how to, to, to try to exploit you. And you have to have the right kind of habits uh, and hopefully have been tested enough uh, in those habits during the course of the year and early rounds of the playoffs uh, to be able to still get to your identity. I know you told us yesterday, all 17 practice. Do you expect to have a clean injury report, at least as of now, going into Tuesday? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> hey, so obviously it's been talked about a lot, but you know, Andre and Jay have added a lot to this team, helped in a lot of areas. But specifically with the improvement on defense, how big of a role have they played in that just with their versatility and their basketball IQ? And especially late in these fourth quarters and playoffs where you have either Jay or, or Andre on the court you know, in those, in those situations. Well, to play and compete at this level, uh, you need two-way players. You can't just compete on one side of the ball. And, and like I've said many times, you also need playoff-tested, experienced veterans. We rely on our young players quite a bit, uh, but it is uh, critical that uh, we have our, our veteran players um, who have seen a lot of different situations, who have been in pressure moments, uh, like Andre and, and like Jay, um, to add to our mix, it, 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 um, it just helps um, when you're going through, you know, a playoff uh, series, especially against a, a real quality opponent. Oh, this one's for my buddy, Timmy Bontemps. He couldn't be with us today. He wanted me to ask, obviously, you guys play a lot of zone. What was the origin of you guys playing smaller guys on the back line of it, and when do you – and when do you play it? Why do you think it's been so successful? Um, yeah, I don't know. We haven't used it yet, this, this playoff. So we uh, came up with, you know, we've used zone, like everybody has used zone the, the last several years. Uh, my first couple of years in, in coaching, you know, Coach Rothstein helped me with the zone. I think we used his high school zone. <laughs> uh, we got you know, beat by uh, a zone in, in our first run at the finals in 2010. Um, but I guess more specific to, to this group, uh, we did it because our, our man wasn't working. You know, really it was uh, two year, two seasons ago. Um, so we've just evolved it, but whether we use it uh, this series or not, I don't know. Like we'll just, we'll, we'll see what's necessary. Um, like I said, our man defense has, has been more stable you know, during the playoffs, so we haven't had to use it. Hey, Eric, uh, in the Milwaukee series, we saw a lot of their defenders going over screens to limit what Duncan Robinson can do and, and take away his space to get a shot off. Is there anything that you can do in this upcoming series to get him a little bit more room so he can continue to be a threat on offense? Well, he just has to continue to work, and, and we've seen a lot of different coverages, you know, since really December uh, to try to take – Duncan and, and our other shooters out of out of the rhythm and, and the normal flow. So I'm sure they'll have uh, some different things uh, to try to to get him off that line. Uh, he has to be persistent, <laughs> as persistent as he's ever been. Uh, but that's that's uh, who he is, and he might not break free, you know, for every single game. But it, it just takes you know a couple games or a couple routes where he, where he you know wears you down. Hey, Spoke, you touched on it just a couple of minutes ago, uh, the impact of Jay Crowder and Andre Iguodala. In addition to their veteran poise and leadership, why do they fit in so seamlessly to your strategy and to your culture? 
kind of what I was just saying. They're two-way players. They're experienced. They've been in playoff situations before. They're different uh, players. You know, Jay is a little bit more the rugged, physical, uh, I guess, prototypical Miami Heat player. Uh, Andre just has so much, you know, world-class uh, finals uh, experience that if you can add a, a guy like that uh, to your mix, uh, particularly with our young guys, uh, that's invaluable. You can't even put, um, you know, a value uh, on that. The, the the amount of things he does to help you, uh, you know, help you win. Um, the analytics can't even can't even explain. But when you're playing against a defense that can switch um, a lot of different actions in a row, how important is keeping a consistent pace in your half court offense to prevent of the offense from really flattening of out? You know, but like I said, if you're if you're trying to cram for the test right now, the way they'll defend us is is likely different than what we've seen in, in the first two rounds. Um, but we had seen a lot of different coverages uh, during the course of the regular season, um, and our offensive game uh, really evolved uh, because of that, um, because of these different strategies. So we can expect uh, a lot of different things, um, and. You just have to rely on each other, rely on your habits, um, and, and the way uh, we like to play offensively, regardless of what the scheme is. Thank you for your time, Spo. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.